Hey guys, go get your Mickey more videos again. And today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at an awesome T10 bulb. And these are 194, whatever you want to call it. They, they're low profile. So without further ado, guys, let's get to it. Alrighty, guys, simple package right here from Yorkin. Uh, these are gonna be some awesome super premium auto white lights guys and uh you know what from the reviews i've heard from these bad boys right here uh they never flicker they never dim and the low profile you can you'll see once i actually take it out of here and like i try to tell everyone look at all the places you can put these guys in the side indicator the front position parking lights the license plate lights trunk lights interior lights dashboard lights whatever needs wedge type bulbs and they're basically you know the wedge type bulbs you push it in push it out that's called a wedge type bulb so these are supposed to be some t10 high quality bulbs guys i'm going to take it out slow oh yeah yes these are some awesome bulbs now i know a lot of people like have problems with other bulbs where they start flickering and stuff like that you don't have to worry about these bad boys right here. They're supposed to be, if you buy some cheaper quality bulbs, they're definitely going to burn out. They're going to not look nice. Uh, and the brightness output is definitely not going to be there. As you can see, this is a very low profile, tiny bulb, guys. And this is definitely high quality right here. So uh, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five LEDs on here, uh, you know, the actual chips. And this is supposed to be extremely bright. So without further ado, let's go put these in my map lights and see how they are. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, got my Honda Accord right here, and here are my map lights right here. Now I like doing these tests with the T10 bulbs, uh, here you go, T10 bulbs, using map lights because I can show you a clear differential between the white light versus the nasty yellow halogen bulbs that I'm going to put in this side. So these halogen bulbs that are in here right now, they are the original halogen bulbs, and there are, oh look, I mean, like even on camera, like on camera, it looks better than in real life, and I'm, that's not even even a joke so what I'm gonna do is leave this yellow one here and change out this one right here into the new the new Yorkium t10 bulbs and they're gonna look awesome so I have some white bulbs in here right now and what you have to do basically turn it on turn it off as you can see take your screwdriver and I'm using a tiny screwdriver however you can use whatever wedge type tool you need and as you can see it's a wedge uh, you know I've used a bigger one in my other videos and it worked perfectly fine Basically, you get that wedge right here, as you can see, just push your finger, put your, uh, you know, your tool in here, and basically click it out, one, two, that's simple, it's done, and, and literally, you just basically pull this bad boy off, and you're good to go. Now, the next step, what you're going to want to do is take off this old bulb, and right now, in my case, these are some white LED bulbs, however, in your case, they're going to be nasty yellow halogen bulbs and you can see they're gonna look kind of like that and uh, no so once you take it out the easy part is putting the new guy in the great thing about this is that your Kim actually provides you with many bulbs that you can put in everywhere in your car guys there are exactly six of them in here and you can put these one two in your dome light that's three in your trunk light you know you can put these everywhere in your car Prices are always going to be different in different types of bulbs. So, it, you know, it really depends on you also on how much you're willing to spend. So all we have to do is basically grab one of these bulbs. Oh, look at that. And basically push it in there easy, nice and slow and just, you know, wedge it in. And, it, and that's the coolest part about these bad boys. So once it's in there, make sure you just press the button to turn it on. Test it. Wow. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Test it out, make sure it works, get your cover, and this is the easiest part, guys. You know, if you have the right technique, everything on your car, when in terms of taking it out or, you know, putting different parts on, it's very simple. As you can see, click and click, two clicks, and you're done. That's how simple it is. And now test it out. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful white light compared to the... I mean, you. I'm telling you guys, on camera, this yellow light looks a heck of a lot better than it actually looks in real life. This just looks so bad. I guess the camera doesn't pick up the yellow, and so it tries to compensate for that, making it look better on camera or something. I don't know, but in real life, this just looks so bad. But man, look, I mean, look at the difference right here, guys. The white nice versus the yellow nasty. Now, in my last video, guys, a lot of people said that, hey, the other bulbs that I use are extremely bright. I mean, they're super bright. I, in my personal opinion, I love them. They're 
perfect for me. But they also said, hey, you know, but I want something a little bit dimmer, uh, you know, because it's, it's so overpowering, but I want something a little bit not as bright. Bam, this is a perfect option for you. Now, the people that asked about that, I don't know how dim you want it. However, this is still going to be brighter than the yellow incandescent bulbs right here. So rest assured that these bad boys are going to be definitely brighter than these. And these are the perfect brightness where it's not over powerful bright. And also for some people, this is a very good value also. So what I'm going to do now is change that other bad boy and let's see how it looks. And would you look at that? Just like that with simple insulation, literally, it looked, it literally took me no time, even while recording. Simple insulation makes your car just look a little bit more luxury, guys, and just beautiful. Stick those in whatever socket you need, 194 T10 bulbs, wedge type bulbs, and you'll be 100% good to go. Your car will look a lot better. Little details like this make a huge difference. Links are in the description below, guys. I am loving these bulbs, and I know you will love them guys alrighty guys hope you guys enjoyed those ultra bright t10 bulbs guys from yorkim i think they look awesome and they're low profile price is right links are in the description below like always there should be any videos popping up around here make sure you're clicking them enjoy them they're for you to watch guys but other than that guys keep your share saying thanks for watching and peace